Welcome everyone, my name is Dekreva. This is some more Stellaris playing with the Star Trek New Horizons mod. As you might have seen in yesterday's episode on our Federation campaign, or as in building a Federation, not the actual Federation from Star Trek, um, the AI Awakened Empire decided to spawn 150,000 fleet right on top of me, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm out. That's no. So, we're just going to start a new game, and we're going to play, as suggested by some of you, with the Star Trek New Horizons mod. Um, I believe that these guys are definitely the ones I made. So... Yeah, so, so here at the top we have a few that we shouldn't be taking. Um, I don't think Class M Eret... Sovereignty of Earth. I think this is one. Uh, your current design contains error. Uses features from disabled DLCs. Oh no, no, I see. These are all the things that I made. Yeah, and here we finally start with the things that are actually in the mod. So, the Star Trek New Horizons mod is a complete conversion of the game. It just gives you the Star Trek universe, the Star Trek people and everything. So you have United Earth, the Klingon Empire, the Romulan Star Empire, Kardashian Union, Dominion, Andorians, Tellarites, Vulcans, Breen, Ferengi, Husnox, Kazons, Solibans, Tholians, Agrathes, Bajorans, Benzites, Bolians, Brunali, Devors, Dosi, Fendomar, Flaxian, Garidian, Gorn, Hercu, Karaman, Hercu, Klingon word meaning outsider, okay. Ah. Uh, Krenim, Morali, Nausicans, Norcadians, Nibarites, Orions, Rakaris, Sheliaks, Talaxian, Tamarians, Tarogaran, Tarogorans, the Liridians, the Vadbor, the Voth, the Wadi, and the Zal. There's a whole lot going on, but of course, we're just gonna play with United Earth. Average difficulty. Oh, they're actually easy difficulty. Okay, is there anything that's actually hard then? I wonder. Yeah, very hard. Case on sects. Ah, oh, yeah, they, they do start in the Delta Quadrant, which is um has the Borg, which you cannot play the Borg, which is actually a good thing. Anyway, we are charismatic and natural sociologists. We have are a free haven and have a parliamentary system. We're pacifists, xenophiles, egalitarians, galaxy size now. There are a couple of them. You have the Milky Way Galaxy, which allows you with the most, or the original Galaxy. I don't actually know the exact difference here between these two. Games are eligible for achievements. Let's turn Iron Man mode off for this one. Habitable Worlds just on one, because this is a set thing, so... I don't know. I think Milky Way Galaxy is the one we need to go. Allowed FTL. Um, should put it on any because warp will be the standard anyway. Have the world max fallen empires difficulty normal. Are we playing? Ooh, we were probably playing on a heart last time. Yeah, that also doesn't help. Advanced neighbor story mode. This is the most important one for this. This needs to be on because you get to play the story of Star Trek from start to begin. To from start to beginning, yeah, that. Um, the specter of war had followed humanity for centuries. Wait, what? Since when did Nathan Samuels become female? <laughs> um, the specter of war had followed humanity for centuries, culminating in the Third World War in 2053. Emerging from this post atomic horror, the people of Earth struggled to survive until the scientist Zephram Cochran successfully drew the attention of the Vulcan science vest Plana Half a decade later. Following almost a century of Vulcan patronage, the people of Earth are ready to take their first steps into the great unknown, seek out new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no one has gone before. So we start in 2150, and yeah, this is just a bug in the startup screen, I guess. So, hello Nathan Samuels, he is uh, very nervous. Oh, that's random, I think. Yeah, these, these traits are definitely random. So right now we are below our naval capacity, which is really annoying. Um, exit to menu, new game. I mean, 
if you, you start off with nervous that's just not gonna be fun at all same setup so i'm just doing this quick restart because that is the really most bullshit randomized thing ever you've oh you selected a random galaxy map Eh. Uh, i don't think i selected a random galaxy map but i guess that's an accident let's try once more united earth select it's on the Milky Way galaxy, so that shouldn't be random. Cluster starts normal. Any FTL? Nah, that's all what it should be. I know, maybe that... I don't know where that pop-up came from. And now it's not there, so I guess we selected something different for that one. Strangely enough. Anyway, right now we are resilient and have a logistic understanding. That's a new one, I think. I haven't seen that one before. Anyway, we change this. And welcome to Seoul. Welcome to the entire galaxy of Star Trek. I was almost going to say Star Wars, which would have been terrible. Um, as you see, there are a lot more stars down here. But that's because, of course, the Star Trek plays, takes place in the Alpha and Beta Quadrant. Mostly. So while there's things like over here where Voyager ends up in uh, its series, the Delta Quadrant, most of the known galaxy for the Milky Way is the uh, Alpha and Beta Quadrants anyway. So we know about Sol. Um, let's actually start working on things. Um, tactical Console. Oh, these things look good, but let's uh, develop the Warp 5 engine first. Vertron Array. Planet Fortification Toughness produces one something. Terraforming Progress. Oh, the Marsh Initiative. Oh. That's actually pretty cool. That's also storyline. Mars, a planet has, that's been slowly made habitable due to the, our advances in creating natural habitat domes for our people to live in. However, with our increased understanding on how comets work, there could be a way to revert them to the Mars polar ice cap. It may be worth investigating this to see if we can truly change the atmosphere on Mars itself for the better. Now, um, some of the, if not most, I don't know, and any, anyway, the lead on this mod project is German, so if there are any spelling mistakes, I'm definitely going to give that that being English being a second language to the at least the lead developer. And definitely gonna go with colony ships though. Um better spaceports and allow the construction of destroyers. Let's do that then for now. Takes a while for that to happen. Mars is adaptable, which is good. We have someone not working at all, which is strange. Yeah, let's at least put them on the resources, so Basic physics lab is something... Yeah, we want those basic labs coming along as well soon anyway. But this is fine for now. It's a very big planet though. 25 sized Earth. And Mars is also okay. Yeah, the change to um, global food is actually really good for us. Habitability plus 50%. Untamed, raw Mars still has many facilities that reach back to the early 21st century. Making life on a red planet at least bearable. So it is a class K planet, but it's not very habitable. It's only size 80 as well. Um, since we have everything discovered in the solar system, let's go to the next one. Uh, what does the lithium do again? I think, yeah, I want to get the lithium. So we're going to build a mining station on Tethys. I can already choose to build mega structures. Oh, a deep space station. Self-sustaining space station designed for permanent habitation. That's cool that you can already get deep space stations built up. That is pretty cool. Anyway, yay for Sol, United Earth. And then let's unpause. I'm going to let it run on normal speed for a little bit. Oh, right. Do we have access to... Allow me to introduce myself. I am Q. Just Q from the Q continuum. Trust me, I'm all that. Omnipotent, omniscient, handsome. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, hello Q. Um, we appreciate the offer, Q. 
New factions recently been gaining traction, the Xeno Rights Institute. They are the Xenophile, so they don't want purges. We want to uplift, and all refugees are welcome, so they like it here. Here you can see, let's see, can we get an admiral? Vladimir Polichev, Andreas Grasser, Artyom Lazarev. Gale speed, aggressive or aggressive? I'll go with the gale speed. The Vulcan, the human people should not be prisoners in the United Earth, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let us agree to remedy this. Um, sure thing. As well as a defensive pact with the Vulcans, it does cost us some um, influence, but... Let's get working. 40 Eridiani, which has the planet Vulcan on it. Here's our science ship progressing, the USS Franklin processing, progressing to Alpha Centauri. Let's go to fast. Alpha Centauri has a lot of habitable worlds. Holy crap. Al Rigil. Apparently there are people there. Huh. It is a very, very big system. It does have three stars. Alpha Centauri A and B as well as Proxima Centauri. Station complete. This is Curie. Oh, Madame Curie. Um, yeah, definitely get some more mining stations going. We are getting a lot of minerals early on, which I do love. We can only build patrol frigates, and that's it. Huh. Here's our space base. It looks like a Star Trek thing. It's pretty cool. to entrances for ships but it looks so massive compared to earth itself so we do have the, the lithium now what does it do oh, it's probably a resource for ships or something at least we have it do we want another science ship maybe we do they are expend expensive Um, we could add a nuclear reactor since they add more power. There's currently no need. And our ships are already at the max level they can be for now. Um, leave that for now. Good, another thing completed. Look at that go. Um, actually I'm gonna go with the uh, research station now. Get that little bit more engineering research coming in. I'm not 100% sure if the music... This actually, yeah. Um, some of the music has been replaced. See, New Horizons. Oh, if I just turn those off... Then we should not get... Any non-Stellaris music. Which is the main thing I'm afraid will flag this video on YouTube. Is getting anything that's actual Star Trek in it. The game itself, there's not a lot like the models and stuff, but that's really hard to actually, well, track, I guess. It's not 100% sure if everything is allowed to be on YouTube anyway, but for the most part, this should be fine. Hey, look, it's this planet. has 75 habitability. It's bleak. But it's colonizable, and we are working towards a colony ship. Station. Let's get mining station up on Vesta. Our first research will be done soon. New World Horizons. So if you leave out this, then you get New Horizons. Ah, the name of the mod. Yeah. So it's very storyline progressing, but the storyline goes a little bit slower at the beginning because there's so much to the end. There's so much Star Trek. A story in a short time window because a series lasts about a year in real life as well so we've already gone we're almost to the like the pilot episode of enterprise as well broken bow personally it's probably an unpopular opinion in general but enterprise is my favorite of the star trek series 
Well, if we just unlock the destroyer, that would be really nice too. And, oh no, no, this sounds, yeah, they replaced music as well, okay. Because this does not sound like the Stellaris music, that definitely sounds like, uh, oh, you need 200, damn it. It's definitely, I need to turn it a little bit further down, just in case. Because it can get flagged quite easily, and I'm really... It's uh, really annoying, but that did not sound like Dragon Breath at all. Colony ship is done. Um, Global Defense Nifitus with a bunker. Minister of the Ith um, I want that monthly influence as well. Civilian districts, heroic landmarks. Sound oh, they produce unity. Construction of a mining station is done. Um, how much is a colony ship? 257. Well, I kind of like to get that. So I'm going to wait for that. The warp 5 engine is done. Um, let's see. I guess... Commercial transporters, really, that's it, resettlement cost. Um, let's just get face cannons then. And let's upgrade our ships with actual speedy speed. Here we go. So, it also generates more power, more FTL speed, everything. A good ship design is like a work of art. Subtle, nuanced. And I don't eyes. get how they got Honestly, close to the voice the of John Delancey. It's important to know what you're doing. And that's why I'm here. One of the most important things to consider is how you assign utility. Understood. So basically things. So we just... Yes, overwrite this design. Construction ship. I also kind of want you to have the better engine too. It'll make all the ships more expensive, I think. But they'll be faster, which is the most important part. Uh, yes, science ship upgrade, and as well the transport ship upgrades. This is our science vessel. It's not actually an annex class ship, but because the annex class is a destroyer vessel, and this is more a frigate sized ship. So I still think, yeah, 257 still. But if we tell you to upgrade and you when you're done with that system, come and upgrade as well. A lot of good stuff though in Alpha Centauri. It only costs five minerals to upgrade this ship, so why shouldn't we do it now? Mars. Um, how are we doing over here? He's growing reasonably fast. Curie Fleet has upgraded. One more monthly tick and we can start our first colony ship. There we go. And now we wait for more income. Enter orbit of the sun, because that is definitely a good idea. The soul system. We are indeed soul men and women. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, I'm going to leave you here with this. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.